This is how you install a Salto Geo Cylinder Lock. These are the items that are going to come in the equipment box. This is your Clay IQ. This is the thing that talks with the cloud. You've got an instruction guide here on how it works, but basically all you do is you plug it in and that's it. Now I like to put these uh, underneath the desk or um, a table or something where they're out of the way and out of sight. All you'll need is this like Clay IQ right here and this out plug. Now it's got a weird little outlet here, so just plug that in, snap it down, and you're good to go. Take off the rubber band, and then we just run this over to an outlet and plug it in. Now once I get this stuff this plugged in, it's going to start changing colors, meaning that it's getting ready to connect with the cloud. Once the colors turn pink or purple, that means it's ready to connect. So I plug that in first, make sure it's within 30 feet of the door lock that we're going to, or the door where we're going to be mounting the lock because it needs to be close enough to talk with it. When you're installing the Geo Cylinder Salto lock, you're going to install it on the outside of the door. You can see here they have a cylinder right there and they've also got a killing key on the inside. So you got to remove these screws here and take off this plate first. Once you've removed that plate, there are little set screws. One right here that holds on this side and keeps it one and one on this side. We're just going to loosen this outside one until you can turn this to get it out. Loosened, I can go ahead and unscrew this from there and look at the bottom of it. And I need to match this piece to make sure that that looks like the one that's on the back of the geo cylinder. When I open up the box with the geo cylinder in it, I'm going to take this piece out and I look at this and compare it to the back of the one that we're replacing. I can see that it looks different shaped, so I'm going to grab, and then this is the other piece that we're going to switch that with because it looks more like that. So the next thing to do is just to unscrew this using a T6 bit that usually is going to be taped to the inside of the box right there, and then you can remove it and replace it with the new one. This right here is a beauty ring. Um, that's just to make it so it looks nice on the outside of the door because otherwise it will stick off a little ways. And very, very importantly, you open this box all the way up and keep going and then in the very 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 bottom there is a tiny tiny set screw that's in this right here now that set screw is what's going to keep people from being able to come up and just take this off because the set screw is going to go right here so the first thing we're going to need to do is take a picture I'll just pull this apart right here and if you look on the inside there, that's for the battery. So you pull that out so that the battery's, you know, making contact. And then take the battery out, and this right here is the MAC number. So you got the MAC number on the inside there. I usually just take a picture with my phone so that then I can put this back together. So you take a picture with your phone, and then you'll have to give us that number so that we can link the two items together. Now we go ahead and put the battery back in, make sure it's polarized the right way. And it will start beeping to tell you that you got it right. Now when we're going to be mounting this back up, now that I've got that MAC number, I can go ahead and install this on there. So I'm just going to um, put this in until it spent, gets the right way. Push it all the way down, and then you've got this little shoehorn looking tool. Now this just slides inside of there, and you can see there's little grooves all over. Um, it's got four of them that you can use and these little teeth on this are going to fit into those grooves. So once you fit those teeth in there and if you push these two together, then you can slide this until you can see that little hole right there. So now that's where I'm going to be putting that little teeny screw inside of there so then someone can't just come up on the outside of the door and just easily move it like that and then take this right off. So. We want to put that screw in there, that's very important. So make sure you get that in there. Now that I've got the geo cylinder all installed, I've got that set screw on the inside to make sure that nobody can just come up with that um, horseshoe tool and remove it on the outside. I'm going to put the beauty ring on. So I've got to put the spring on it, as well as the ring itself. And then I'm going to install it onto the door. So it will look just like this. So it's got the spring here. And then you put it into the door and fill it in the threads here. And then it comes with one more tool 
that can finish the installation. So I won't be able to tighten it all the way. I'm gonna to need to have this orange special tool. So what you do is you find a little hole at the top here and you insert it there and then you just twist it. You don't wanna over tighten it, you just want it to be snug. So you keep going until, see that right there is tight. So I wanna go back until I can put that hole at the very top. So that's how it's supposed to look once you're done. Now I go ahead and tighten this screw, put the plate back on, and then the installation of this is done, and I just have to link it with the IQ unit.